Okay, so now I've just got to clean up the uh, pads a little bit here. Um, might need a, need a mixture of uh, a bit of solder and uh, also probably a, a little bit of um, solder wick as well, just to take up the excess. So just make sure that all the pads here have got a nice small helping of solder on them. Looks good so far. And the centre pad, but don't have too much solder on the centre pad, or else um, the chip won't seat very well. So I'm just going to lift a little bit off of that. There we go. Lovely. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. Maybe just a little bit more solder on that centre pad, just to make sure that the bottom of the, the chip actually get something to grab onto. Okay, now you'll also see here, this is my chip that uh, I've got ready to, to use. So the first thing to do is just put a little bit of flux on the, on the bottom of it. Uh, flux is your friend here. Um, it uh, certainly helps you when you're just making sure that that's, that sole is gonna, gonna wet to the pins. Okay, and also on the pads on the uh, PCB. Okay, the next thing, which is highly important, um, is to make sure that we get the orientation of the chip right. Um, it, it's very, very frustrating if you do if you get it wrong because you have to start all over again. So I'm just gonna. I know this PCB now at the back of my hand, so I I, I can. I know the orientation it's meant to be, uh, but uh, I would certainly, um, if I wasn't that okay, I would check, check, and check again. Okay, shaking a little bit today. Let's just see if we can get on. You might be able to see, it's, I've probably got a little bit too much solder on that centre pad there because it's not seating very well. We can have a little bit of a look just to see how close we are. We're not a million miles away, it looks like, so I'm going to give that a go. So. Next thing, pretty much do a very similar thing to what we did before, which is we grab the hot air gun and uh, bring it in from a, I don't know, two, couple of inches or so. So I'm at about a couple of inches now. I'm going to see if we can gradually bring it in. Just warming up the board now. So uh, what you tend to see is as the board's um, warming up, you'll see the first of all the flux will start to uh, start to bubble up a little bit. Um, but patience is a virtue on this, and uh, it doesn't take very long. But we'll soon see. There we go. The chip's now starting to to rest. There we go and automatically it almost sucks itself into place um, due to the uh, surface tension of the solder. Okay. So just before we continue I'm just going to check on all four sides to make sure that it seems to be centered correctly. Uh, just be a little bit careful of the um, any metal connectors on there because they're going to be quite hot right now so you're going to burn yourself if, you, uh, if you're not careful. Okay that looks good. Now, I'm just going to manoeuvre the camera around a little bit so you can see what happens when I um, actually try to get the connections uh, on the chip itself, onto the, uh, connected to the pad. 